Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka... And we are back with another Twitter thread. Today we're talking about the ban list and okay, let's get it out of the way. Was the ban list everything we hoped for? No. While it did take some of the teeth out of decks like Snake Eye, it's clear that the Fiendsmith cards are still extremely good. Uninteractive bullshit like Dimension Shifter is still around and a lot of people are still gonna be priced out of the format, but give them a break. They did the best they could. There's no way this list could have been improved or could it? What does my genius chat have in store for the individuals responsible for the Konami ban list? Well, I'll give you my update to the ban list that would have fixed everything. They should have banned Dimension Shifter, but only when my opponents use it because they're trying to like unskilled sack me, but I have to use it because it's a necessary evil because the bullshit meta uh, because I should be allowed to. Let's see what you all came up with. Farfa says, unironically, this is fine now. One of the last remaining casualties of the 2020 Toss Massacre. I have been a really long time hater of Heavy Metal Foes Electromite. For a significant period of time, pretty much since banning, everyone was like, oh, this can come back tomorrow. I think they were out of their mind. But now this card is pretty far underneath what an individual card would have to do to warrant a slot on the ban list. If you want to go for an Astrograph play, that's probably okay in the the year of our Lord 2024. And I'm actually surprised they didn't because otherwise Perform Age Plush Fire does dick fuck nothing. Dyer says, everyone here is trying to fix the format by making the game healthier. I'm going to fix the format by making the new format the worst format possible to make people beg to go back to the old format thinking it's better in retrospect. Yeah, I would have a hard time thinking of like 20 cards you could unban that would have more of an immediate negative metagame impact than these ones. Okay, here's a realistic one from JJPM. Yeah, we were supposed to ban Sanctifier, so you can't keep doing that bullshit and branded. Yeah, Shifter probably should have gone. OSS would have been a more effective hit versus Snake Eye, though we're hearing mumbling from people who are testing that Snake Eye has been hurt a pretty substantial amount. Bring her back and everybody is happy again. I wouldn't be. You know, this deck is almost full power in Master Duel and no one plays it. I don't know why they don't play it. I don't understand. I would have made the seventh best deck a little stronger by bringing Rescue Ace Airlifter back to two. Hold up. Airlifter back to two? Do you want to ruin the meta? You want to talk about a slaughter? Just merge the ban list, says Swolax. I don't care about the logistics. I don't care if we technically have to ban cards that haven't even been in Master Duel yet. I don't care if it's best of one or best of three. I just need something to believe in. An unbanned spark it. True! It feels really weird that Ritual Beast didn't suffer any hits at all. Shifter should have been brought behind the shed, but maybe it's time for a return to the limited list. Please don't put him back. You know the craziest part about Canna Hawk Tua? This card at one does not change anything. The only thing that it did to put this card to one was inflict a real psychic hit to Ritual Beast players to get them off the deck way past the point where it was doing anything relevant in the metagame. Wurtz, an Elestral's creator who has seamlessly bridged the gap to whining about Yu-Gi-Oh. Ban my my opponent's deck and then limit one card from my deck so I also get to whine. Perfect hits! Release him! On one hand, I want to be like, no, fuck no. The last thing we need is any two monsters turning into an incredibly powerful individual card. But on the other hand, this guy's never been banned in Master Duel. If it makes DPE very slightly more relevant, it's not that big of a deal. No, 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 no. Uh, this one could come back. That's fine. Instead of limiting branded fusion, I would have banned it. Not because I think branded is too strong, but because I want branded players to suffer. Tolus19, I, I gotta get behind what you're saying. I agree. Where is Summon Sork? Yeah, they eroded her. They eroded her and we're still like, eh, nah. Come on, please just give me my boy back. He doesn't do anything. I just want to play this deck. I will bring this deck to every local for a year if we just get, th we don't even need three. We can take two. Trust the process. The memento sweep will save the format. Another card that is just so unbelievably powerful and is also completely legal in Master Duel. How do they get away with it? Kitkalos posting aside, why is the non once per turn link zero at three? I think we all expected this was going to be the Ubel hit. And then when we saw opening of the spirit gates, we were like, oh yeah, that's, um, that's fine too, I guess. Uh, <sighs> Outside of the obvious bans, I don't appreciate the mindset of bringing back unhealthy cards because they're bad or for the sake of making decks able to contest snake eyes. Get the poison out of the well. Don't dump more in. Also, it'd be really funny if they walked it back frame one. Colossus, I understand there are Colossus hitters out there, but like who's shooting for Arch Nemesis Protoss? Are there people who have like a Protoss tattoo? <laughs> 
Every time I think about the egg of hits, I'm like, what the fuck? Why, why did they do that? From your lips to God's ear. Another card that is legal in Master Duel inexplicably. Is not ruining the format. Tier is completely playable. Merle's banned? Fine. I don't care. Killer. <laughs> I've seen a lot of potential nuke lists that I agree with for the most part, except for one facet. Just checking. You guys know this guy shouldn't exist in a powered down metagame, right? God, Rin, I agree. But this is like um, anarcho-communists and syndicalists getting like little shit fits online. You guys know these are discussions you get to have like years from now, right? Got more pressing issues. Maybe putting this back on the list will fix things. It worked last time. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can't bring Hauk back. But if you bring Hauk back, you can't bring Aurorodon back. Are you kidding me? What about Linkross? Oh, fuck it. Linkross cannot come back independent of any other card on this list. This one's rough. Uh, went through the whole ban list and put every card that would come back to three tomorrow without significantly changing the meta on a list. You are out of your fucking mind if you think three Dandelion wouldn't change it. You're out of your mind if you think Linkaribo wouldn't change it. You are out of your mind if you think Broadbull wouldn't change anything. The rest of these are fine. Eclipse Wyvern! I can't believe when the game was in such a dire position, Konami didn't ban Plant Synchro, TG, and Agents. These are the clear problem decks of the format. Oh my god. Huge missed opportunity. I kind of like the new ban list, but they banned Stormwind ages ago, so I think it's time for the bird to take flight once again. They did get rid of the card that we all hated. Move Poplar up to a four crest roll, decreasing player's chance of summoning it to the board early and generating clogged fields. That's such a good fucking idea. Why has no one thought of that before? In the words of Konami D Luffy. I'm going to rescue Ace Airlifter to three. <laughs> True! We can go back. We can make it better this time. What the hell is this? This is like every card. I shut down Yu-Gi-Oh! on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and that solves every problem the game has. Taking the same approach to this as all of the uh, restaurants in my area. This would be badass. Destiny Hero Malicious. Super unlimited. You can play four of them. Ooh, okay. While the ban list may not have been everything that we wanted, it was a noticeable improvement. Konami, simply implement some of these ideas for your next list to bring it all the way to 11. And seriously, you've got to do something about Tengu Synchro. I mean, it's out of control. Uh, yes, uh, yes, Dustin, yes, I, mm -hmm, yes, I, mm, I see, yes, I, mm -hmm, yeah, I could, wow. Wow.